Hey guys, it's Mel. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today is an exciting day for me. I have managed to make a deal with one of my local thrift stores and I've been waiting to tell you about it, but it wasn't the right time. But today's the day. Okay, so let me tell you the story. A few weeks ago, while I was shopping in one of my local thrift stores that I go to on a regular basis, while I was in there shopping, the manager came up to me and started talking to me and asked if I might be interested in doing a little bit of a deal with them where I take away some of their discarded books that they don't have room for. So I was so excited that they asked me to do this. And I can't even reiterate to you guys how important it is that your local charity stores know who you are, they know what you do, and they know what you buy. Because it really has made such a difference to my business. I've made so many connections through the thrift stores because I've been very open with them on what I'm doing. Basically, what they want me to do is every fortnight at the moment, come in and take away their discarded books for the week. So what I can gather from them is it almost sounds like it's a bit of an experimentation they want to do with me. They want me to come in fortnightly, but I get the impression that soon this might move to a weekly thing for me. So these books that they've got for me there's a mixture of them apparently some of them are just total discards you know the books that people donate to the charity shop that actually are rubbishy books and they have to discard themselves so this pile of books that i'll be picking up is kind of like i have to take the good the bad the ugly if i want to do it like i can't just cherry pick it i have to take the whole lot or I don't take it at all. So some of those books will be straight up rubbish. But some of the books they told me are actually in really excellent condition. It's just that they don't have enough room for them on their shelves. And they also sometimes have genres that don't sell fast for them because they just have such limited walkthrough traffic into the store. So it means that some of the more long tail books, they just can't afford to have them sitting on their shelves for too long because they don't have time to wait for them to sell. They need to have the quick flips, I guess. So for me, that's great because eBay has a much larger audience of people looking for books than those who are just walking into a charity shop. So I'm feeling kind of really excited about this. I am going into this with an open mind, like I'm going to give it a try because I am expecting that a lot of the books that I have to bring back with me are going to need to be straight away redonated or even recycled. But I feel like I'd be crazy if I didn't give this opportunity to go. It is totally free books for me. Even if only a quarter of the book were good I still think it would be worth my time this is a shop that I would go to a couple of times a week anyway so I can just time one of my visits they're not really fussy with the day that I pick them up but I can time one of my visits with going to get some stock that I'm going to cherry pick from their actual store plus take away all the discards with me at the same time it's a win-win I don't really have to make any separate trips for it I probably just have to spend an extra 10 minutes or so loading up the car with the books that they don't want. One thing that I'm not sure about is my car that I currently have is quite a small car. We are looking at buying me a new car for the business because I drive a little Mazda 3. And if you guys know what that is, it's a, it's a small little car. The quantity of books that I'm bringing into this car with hauls and even my shipping days, when I have to take seven or eight Ikea bags <laughs> to the post office, my little car is absolutely full to the brim and the weight of it, it's kind of struggling. So we do feel like we're at the stage where I need a new car. But what I've decided to do today is I'm actually going to hire a small truck just from the service station where you get the petrol because I'm just not sure what I'm in for today. I don't know how much I'm going to have, but what they have told me is the amount that I take away today is roughly going to be the same amount that I will take away on an ongoing basis. So I'm just about to drive and pick up the little truck that I've got booked and then I'll be driving out to the charity shop. I've got a tarp here in the back. The little truck that I've hired has got like a cage all the way around it, but there's no roof or anything on it and I wasn't sure if it was going to rain today but also I don't want any books flying around. I can't actually show you inside the store or anything because this is a connection that I've obviously made and you know some things we've got to keep to ourselves. <laughs> this is basically what I'm calling my guy. <laughs> So I'm going to go and pick up the books. So when I get home, I will show you the books I've got. We'll see if I'm onto a winner or if I've just picked up a truck full of duds. <laughs> Wish me luck, guys. See you soon. Okay, so I'm home now with the truck. So what I'm actually going to do is I've got a spare few tubs here. Instead of moving it all into the shed straight away and culling it in there, if there are some that I can automatically see that I don't want, I'm going to put them into these tubs. And then when I take the truck back, I'm going to drop the books on the way and either redonate them or recycle them depending on the state that they're in.
shiny so it's too bright so it's taken me 15 minutes to sort the truck which i think is pretty good and a lot of them do need to go to the rubbish they are wrecked books but i knew that that was going to happen so i've ended up with six boxes here that i'm going to price comp and hopefully get all of these listed some of them i'll be able to bundle i'm actually wondering what you guys think about it at the moment are you just sitting there thinking this woman is crazy i feel like this is a deal that doesn't come around very often and there was no way that i couldn't take this deal with this thrift store. I think I would have been mad to have missed out on that deal. I didn't bring into the shed any books that I'm not expecting to list. I think that's gonna be a key factor in me doing a deal like this. So I think going forward, I'm just gonna do it exactly the same way, except I just won't have a hired truck. I don't think I need to hire a truck again. I think for this first time, I'm really glad I did because I just had no clue how many books I was expecting to get and if they would fit in my car. And then before I even take all those other books out of my car, I will just take them away straight away, all the ones that I don't want, either for the redonation or for the recycle. I think the thing with a deal like this is every week is going to be different. Like there might be some weeks where I go and pick it up and there's more rubbish than there is anything to keep. And maybe the next time I go back there, I get all these free books that are absolutely gold and worth money. It just, it's going to be one of those things that every single week is going to be different. But I just think this is such a great opportunity for me to build a better relationship with this particular thrift store because this is only one thrift store. And what if they can then put in a good word for me and I get two thrift stores you never know what is going to come from a relationship you build with a supplier in those six boxes there's probably 50 individual listings that i've just got for free if i can get 50 every single week sometimes i'll probably get more that's a quarter of my inventory every single week that can go into my store for free it's a no-brainer now i want you to tell me the truth <laughs> do you think i'm a crazy woman <laughs> I'll see you in another couple of days for another day in the life with Mel. See ya.